how are we doing? Welcome to a new vlog. I am looking very sweaty right now because I am sweaty. It's too hot right now. It's like 26 degrees. My makeup is literally evaporating, but it's fine. We're gonna roll with it and we're gonna carry on because tomorrow is my first official wedding day diaries booking for the content creation. I'm so excited. I know I've spoken about it so much in my vlogs lately, but now we get to actually go to a booking and I'm gonna try my best to take you with me. Obviously my priority is getting the content for the bride, not for my vlog. So we'll see how it goes. But anyways, I just wanted to jump on the vlog now and intro it because I am opening the new gimbal that I bought. So I think I mentioned this in the last vlog. I'm trying to figure out how it works because I've never used one of these before. And uh, the reason I bought it is to make sure all the videos and stuff that I take are super stable and not like super shaky and bad quality. So it just looks so fancy. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. That goes there. There is a bit of an instruction thing on here, but it's not very detailed, so. So I think all we do is, woo, look at this. I don't know what the idea is. I think I'm just gonna take my case off. Guys, I'm so gutted, I know I mentioned this before. Look at the state of my phone. Have you ever seen something so terrible? Like, I've never ever damaged my phone ever like this before, never. I always have a case on it, so I don't understand when on earth that happened. Is that a sign that I need to get my new phone that I was talking about before? I think it is. Okay, so we've got the phone. <laughs> what is it doing? How do we work this thing? What the hell? Somebody help me. What the hell is going on? <coughs> no, something's not right. Align the phone clamp and the magnet. I have no idea what's happening. There is actually a QR code on here, so let's see what that's saying. Maybe we can get some actual instructions. There is a beginner guide that you can get on the QR code. Okay, calibration, I think that's what we need to do. Attach the grip tripod and place the gimbal on a level surface. Oh, okay, let's try again. Yeah, I'm sorry, this is just annoying. I'm doing much better job than I do. What are you doing, like why? Why is this thing? I'm getting really annoyed. What's the benefit? What are you doing? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should go and watch those videos properly and understand like what on earth I even bought this for in the first place. I'm gonna go figure it out and I'll be back with an update on whether we're gonna return it. Nice, we did it. Look at it. It's doing this thing, like wobble it. It's just, I'm gonna take it. We'll try it out. If I find it's more of a hassle than helpful, then I'll definitely want to get my over a hundred pounds back. It's also got this little tripod thing. How cool is this? You can literally just set it up. I don't know what the purpose of that is though, because, oh, I see. You set it down and then it's got this toggle button and you can move the camera, like it'll move the thing around by that. But we'll take it anyway. It's an option, but I know that my content is fine without something like this. I just thought we'd take it to the next level. You know what I mean? Woo! But it has a battery life, so it's like, it doesn't last forever. So we're gonna turn it off, but um, see, when it's off, that's what happens. Okay, we get it now. I need to sort my phone storage. That's the next thing on the to-do list because I need to clear it all. So I'm gonna do that now as well in preparation for tomorrow. That'll probably take me the rest of this evening. So good night. <laughs> good morning, friends. How are we all doing? It is the next day now. I've just got ready for the day. I actually filmed a little get ready with me on TikTok. Well, I tried to. There's been a lot of noise outside this morning. So it's probably gonna turn into a voiceover. But if you wanna watch me get ready and talk a little bit about wedding stuff, then definitely go to my TikTok. I do actually now need to get changed. I'm just going to have a quick look at the info I have for today's booking because it's all on my laptop. I just want to make sure like I'm very clear on what to expect. I hate walking into the unexpected and like not knowing what's going to happen before it happens. Not that you can know everything before it happens anyway. So today is a barat. It's a six hour booking. I've already had a call with the bride so I know like what her itinerary looks like and stuff but obviously I've had so many different calls. I need to go and actually remember what this wedding is doing and what they've got planned. I'm just having a quick look now. So she's got guest arrival at one. They've got a gate. They've got the groom and bride entrances. They've got cake cutting. They've got pictures with vendors she wants. Okay, so she's got three sisters I need to capture. She's got that, that and that. Now I feel a bit better. I was feeling a bit clueless before. Not clueless, but I was like, I can't remember what she told me about her event. So that's why I'm so glad I've done all these calls because it makes me feel a lot more at ease and know what I'm walking into. I've never been to these 
a lot of these venues either as well. It's new, new, new everything. I need to go get myself ready. I really don't have long at all. I have about half an hour before I actually have to leave. I really hope it doesn't rain because I plan to wear a t-shirt and I don't think I'm planning to take a jacket with me. But I think most of the event is indoors anyway, so that should be fine. But anyways, I just thought I'd check in with you now before we head off because I don't know how much I'm gonna actually be able to talk for the rest of this vlog. I'm probably just gonna show you like clips of what's going on arriving and stuff. That's enough for me yabbering for now. Let's go get ready. Guys, we're all ready. This is the outfit of the day. We've got some smart trials on. I really don't know how I'm feeling about the top, but it's okay because we've got our trusted bag with all the equipment covering it anyway, so I don't think it really matters. And I've just done a half up, half down because I thought that was the best way to get rid of my hair, but also I didn't want to fully put it up. So yeah, we are ready to go. I feel nervous, but also I feel like I'm so excited about it and I just like can't wait to actually take all the content and everything. I completely cleared my phone last night. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff on there, but there's so much space. I'm very excited to fill it all back up again. I'm just trying to figure out how much more I can actually fit in here because let me tell you, there's a lot of equipment we need to take and I don't really think we've maximized the space we could use in here. I'm waiting for portable charger to charge. It's just got one bar left and then I'm gonna put that in here as well. A good job I have pockets in my trousers I think I'm gonna need those as well. And I'm also thinking, should I take something with me? Oh, I think Sunny's outside. Let's go. Okay guys, I've just arrived. The bride has basically got here at the same time as me, I think. I've just been taking a bit of content in this place is so beautiful i'm obsessed they've gone inside and the cameramen are with them so i'm trying to not get in the way i'm also just going to take some content out here while they're doing their thing in there as we're on the couple shoot the couple are down there somewhere, <laughs> sitting on a bench, getting some photos. Let's see what time it is. It's 4 p.m. We wrap up around six, so we've just got an hour, well, just under two hours to go. It's been so much fun. The bride and groom are absolute gems and their families are so lovely as well. Funnily enough, the shoot I ended up on, the same photographer did my own nagar. <laughs> <laughs> which is crazy but it's so nice yeah it's been a really nice day so far i've just had some food so hopefully i don't have any food in my teeth yeah the weather is beautiful it's been a really nice day of collecting lots and lots of content let me show you my photo album right now okay this is the beginning this is all the content we've got for Sima. but the day's not over yet so we'll see what we finish the day on hello friends <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we made it home in one piece and that is a wrap. I don't even know what words to use for today. Honestly, I don't think I could have had a better first content creation day experience. Like the bride, the groom, the families, just the most incredibly kind and like nice people. Oh, they were just all so, so friendly and like warm and welcoming. Like it was really, really nice. I've just been like flicking through all the content on the way home and I'm actually in love. Like I can't wait to send it all to her, which is what the job is right now. Basically just got home, like literally walked through the door. I have packages that open and everything and haven't got dressed yet. But my priority is getting everything to her. My policy is within 24 hours of your event, you're gonna receive everything. So I need to make sure I deliver on that. So I'm gonna just actually figure out what the plan is for that because I'm gonna be totally honest. I mean, I have thought that far ahead, don't get me wrong, but I just hope it doesn't really take that long to upload everything because let me tell you, we got a lot of content today. We did a six hour service. Oh, she just looks so beautiful. Like, it's such a beautiful couple, mashallah. Oh, I love weddings. I actually love weddings so much. It's actually crazy that I get to like go to weddings as my job now. I find that insane. Like how lucky am I? That's crazy. Like this is still going. We selected 1,142. Oh, she had like the cutest members of her family. Like I went around getting personal messages to the bride and groom from their family members as well. I need to figure out how to get this on my laptop and then to the bride right now. So I'm gonna do that. Guys, it's been a long day. It's actually the next 
next day now. I'm coming to you with wet hair in my pajamas. It's actually the end of the day at this point. But it's been a busy one. It's been full of calls, full of sorting all the admin for post the events yesterday. We got some great feedback already, which is so, oh, I feel so happy. Yeah, obviously I gave you a bit of a rundown on how yesterday went, I think. Anyway, I had two bookings yesterday and I was on one of them. It was so nice to like be able to see the content from the other book booking. I also edited the videos that was part of the package for one of them and I edited the photos of the other one. So if you guys are interested in booking our content creation for weddings, I offer like a bunch of different packages. So depending on what your preference is, you can put that in the package. So it's like a certain amount of hours that you need for us to cover your event. And then you have the option of adding edited photos, edited videos, and that's on top of like the raw footage. Like with every package you get all of the raw footage that we take on the day. Um, but there's like extra stuff that you can also include. I was just sorting all those extra bits out. Absolutely exhausted. I wasn't actually gonna pull out the camera today because the levels of tiredness have reached maximum, I think. Bookings went so, so well. I've actually got another booking on Saturday. So I thought maybe I'll extend this vlog to Saturday as well. I haven't had a chance to look back on the clips that I got from yesterday, but I'm pretty sure I didn't really vlog very much for you guys. Obviously I was focused on the bride, the wedding in general. And because it was my very first event, I was just very much try, kind of trying to get my bearings. Now that I've been and done one, I mean it's not the very first one, I did my cousins, but it's a bit different when it's um, someone you relate to and someone you already know. I think I'll probably take you along with me for the one that's happening on Saturday, which is super, super exciting. So we'll continue this vlog along because that's actually a last minute booking that I had, I think at the beginning of this week. So we will go to that one together. I can't remember the details of that event, like what type of event it is, but I'm pretty sure it's another brat or a nikah of some form. That venue looks so really, really pretty actually, and it's not too far from me. So hopefully it won't be as intense of a day because I think the traveling on top definitely takes it out of you. Yeah, I'm just so pleased. It's crazy, you know when you just start something brand new and you just don't know how it's gonna turn out. You don't know if people even think the same as you and want it. Yeah, you know, something that I wish I had and that's the reason I started it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone else wants it too, if that makes sense. I don't know, it's becoming like a growing and common thing now. Now, which is really cool because I think like do you know what one of the pieces of feedback was because I was very much like oh that is the point like that's the literal point that made me really happy she goes love the content uh, it feels amazing being able to go through all the content the day after the wedding and reliving it again this is literally the reason why I started this in the first place every single event that we had for our wedding like Sunny and I would literally first thing we wanted to do was relive the day we wanted to reminisce and watch all the content back and you know like whatever we had like whatever anyone from the family had like taken as content and stuff we wanted to see it all because as soon as your wedding is over that's what you want to do you want to relive it I just feel like I, I don't understand how a wedding content creator hasn't been a thing from the beginning. And I get it, you have your professional photographer, videographer, like they do all the things and they obviously do an incredible job, but there is just something about being able to just literally relive the experience frame by frame, like hour by hour, minute by minute in your camera roll. Like that's not what you get from professional photography, videography. You get like, this final product that's really well crafted and you know, like really nicely edited and just creates a movie out of the experience in your day. Like that is not what we are. We are like full on raw moments, like every last detail. Like it's basically the complete opposite of what you'd get from your professional photography. It's not professional at all. It's very much like what someone at your event could do, but why would you want them to do it when you want them involved and you want them there as a guest to enjoy your wedding with you? So that's the whole point of it. And I know I've gone on about this so much and I will stop at some point, but it's just so new for me and it's so exciting as well and I want to take you guys on the journey with me so hopefully you find it interesting hearing me yabba and yabba yabba on about this new business and like everything going on with that. But if you guys do want more information or just want to follow that journey along more definitely go to my Instagram and also the Your Wedding Day Diaries Instagram because um, there'll be lots more behind the scenes and just like yeah lots more content on it obviously on that page. I need to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner tonight and I also have one more call of the day like we're not finished with the call so I'm definitely going to have to get changed again. <laughs> I got back in comfy clothes because I was like, ah, oh, I just, 
I could do with a nap right now. But I also have a call in about two hours with another one of my clients. So I'm going to have to get changed. And hopefully my hair will have dried by then. So I'm not looking like a complete mess. So I'm going to prepare for that. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to call it a day, I think. But tomorrow I'm definitely going to be editing a podcast episode for Double Life. And I'm going to be getting my YouTube video up that will... This video will be the one after the one that's going up tomorrow. But if you haven't watched my last vlog, definitely go and watch that. That's something that I need to finalise for tomorrow. I'm going to focus more on my own personal pages tomorrow because I feel like I really need to divide my time up now between the business and like my personal pages and stuff. Yeah, I've got a few little bits for that to sort out as well. I find it really cool that I can like go to all these different weddings and just like see how people do their events and just get to see like different people getting married. I find that so exciting, I don't know. Anyways, enough rambling. I'll catch you later. Hello and good morning beautiful people. It is now Saturday which means it's our third booking of this week. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've been slowly, slowly, slowly this week. I've been feeling more and more run down and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I was mixing with like hundreds of people the event that I went to and I've caught something but I've been dealing with a really sore throat and it's so strange because like it's so hot outside. I'm like, how have I got a cold? We know them as colds but it's not cold. I'm not feeling very well. I don't know if it's maybe hay fever or I've got some kind of bug but Anyway, we're gonna push through it because we have another booking today and we're not letting anybody down. I'm not actually feeling like as bad as I have been maybe the past day. It's kind of like up and down. I don't really know what it is. It must be like allergies or something because it's not like consistently bad. It's like sometimes I'm okay, sometimes I'm really not. We're gonna put that aside for today because today is very exciting. We've got another booking. So I have just pretty much got up it's around 10 a.m well i got up at nine i've just had a shower i've just put everything on charge because our event is in the evening we're gonna get ready for the day there's a few little admin things i need to take care of before we actually fully focus on today's event. I still need to sort out my phone storage. There's still a lot of content that I have from the event that I did earlier this week on my phone. So I need to just like make sure I can actually delete all that stuff. Everything has been transferred over and sent to the bride anyway, but I'm just gonna sort that out. So make sure I have maximum storage for this evening's event. For now, I actually need to get a double life episode uploaded to YouTube because tomorrow I literally wanna take the day off. I don't wanna be doing any work related stuff. This has been a busy, busy week my health is not in the best state right now like i am feeling a bit run down already so i just fully want to take tomorrow off uh, work stuff so i'm going to make sure that episodes upload today i'm going to make sure like all the admin stuff related to today's event is taken care of I need to figure out what i'm wearing the bane of my life is figuring out what i should wear especially because the weather i'm not sure like what the vibe's gonna be today and i also need to re-figure out how to use that damn gimbal because let me tell you i got it out in the event um that i did this week and it went floppy again and i couldn't get it to go sturdy and i was just like i thought I thought we were friends. I thought we figured this out, but apparently not. So I'm gonna have to sort that out all over again. And hopefully I can actually use it for this wedding. And I need to also figure out what I'm gonna eat before the event today, because it's an evening one. I definitely have basically all day at home. Oh, I also wanted to film some TikTok videos today while I get ready and stuff. So we'll see if that happens. But I don't really wanna be talking too much. I'm already talking too much. My throat is not doing good. Let's pause for a minute and I'll be back. We have got ready for the day face wise. I actually did film a TikTok video while I was getting ready. Make sure you stay tuned for that video on my TikTok if you want to see me create this look. This is my normal everyday. Well, I wouldn't say this is everyday. This is a bit more than everyday makeup but because it's got to last me through sweating and running around and you know doing all the things and for a good few hours of my event today I thought I'd just do a bit more full coverage makeup. Anyways we are back to testing this gimbal and figuring out what on earth. You see, I don't understand <laughs> why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I really, really am confused. So you just need to put this thing on it. Okay, so we're floppy again. Right, so this is what was happening. And I was trying to do all the things. Oh, okay, so when we're at home, you wanna work fine? Jiggly. I'm gonna try my best to use this today. If it doesn't work today, if something goes wrong and I end up not pulling this out, then it's going back or returning them. So let's put you away. The next plan is to figure out what we're gonna wear later because I'm just gonna wear basically the same thing as I wore the other day, just a different color. <laughs> Although I only have one white t-shirt, I can't find any of my other t-shirts. So 
And I used to have this really nice, like, light blue t-shirt. Basically, all my clothes are from Hollister because of the collabs I used to do with them. And I absolutely love Hollister clothes. I don't know what it is about them, but they're just, like, the t-shirts and, like, everything just fits nicely. The trousers are so comfortable and also the perfect length. And I don't know, everything just fits nice, feels nice is comfortable best place to shop honestly so i am going to wear another pair of hollister trousers let's actually go find my outfit now let's go do that what rookie error i didn't actually realize is that i buried the only white t-shirt i have under all the wet clothes on the rack so i do have a different pair of trousers that we can wear today which is this pair's pit and stripe again but this time we got some blue ones i actually love these you know what's so funny is that i was very very close to just getting rid of all my work clothes at one point because i was like am i ever gonna need to use any of these because i can just dress how i want for the job that i have actually it's so good to have stuff like this because it's not even like super smart like, it literally has an elasticated waist but they're so comfortable and they look put together like when you want to you know even for like social media you do have like meetings to go to sometimes and it is good to kind of you know look presentable and wear stuff like that but you don't have to fully go out in like a shirt and blazer and everything you can still wear something casual on top which is what i intend to do for this booking so we've got these this combo which i think is quite cute like i like the two-toned blue situation or we've got this white top and blue trousers maybe i'll try them both on so this is what it looks like Right, is this a vibe for today? Maybe if I just like this sweatshirt is very small actually. I'm gonna give it some thought and I'll come back with a verdict. Hello, hello friends. We are ready to go. I actually went and opted for the white top in the end because I just thought it looked more put together, even though we've literally got stains all over it, but we're gonna pretend they're not there. Um so this is the full fit. Sonny's waiting for me in the car. We need to head off right now because we both start work basically at the same time today. And he has to drop me off, then get to work himself. We're gonna head off right now and let's see what today brings us. <laughs> Guys, we've arrived. I'm done. doing a very good job of vlogging because it's a bit chaotic. We've had a lot going on. We have the bride arrival. I'm about to go check on the bride to see if she wants to go to before her entrance. It's so beautiful down there. But um, let's go see what she's doing. Guys, we sat at the bride and groom's table. Friends, how are we all doing? It's the next day now, and yes, I have spot cream all over my face because we decided to wake up with breakouts today, which is great. Um, but I wanted to give a little debrief on it yesterday because I don't really think my vlogging skills were up to scratch. But do you know what? I think I've just got to accept that a wedding is not a place to be vlogging. It's not, it's too chaotic, there's too many people. I have a job to do. I try my best. I really did try, but um, as soon as like the guests started arriving and there's never a minute to actually like breathe at a wedding, there actually isn't. Because especially as a content creator, like you are there to capture all the like off camera moments. So I have to be on hand, like I have to be like vigilant. But I can come here today and say that it was a great event, um, such a beautiful couple. The bride, oh my gosh, she literally looked like ethereal. Like she looked so, so stunning, unbelievable. But yeah, I'm just in the process of actually downloading all of her content um, just so I can share it with her today. And just had a shower, pretty much just got up and it is almost 11 p.m. p.m. a.m. I got back quite late yesterday, it was an evening event. And I think the last clip I did share of yesterday was me eating food at the head table which guys I was so embarrassed to do that like I really didn't want to I ended up sitting on the stage while everyone was eating kind of like on the steps of the stage not like fully you know like ready for my photo yeah I was just sitting with a photographer that they hired and we were just talking about our work and stuff and then one of the brothers bless her family his family like everyone was so so lovely there and he came over and he was like, have you guys eaten? Like, we need to make sure you eat. And then he went to go find a table, but I think that their hall was jam packed. Like I scanned the room and obviously I was doing content and stuff and I didn't see a single seat 
free from what I could see. So I was like, do you know what? I'm not even gonna go and try and find like a spot to go and like have some food. I was starving at that point, don't get me wrong. But all I really wanted actually was a drink. Like I just wanted some water so I didn't collapse. Um, so as long as I got a glass of water, I was fine. But they were adamant, as Asians are. And there was nowhere to sit. So he came back and he was like, the bride and groom don't actually mind you guys like sitting with them. And I was like, no, <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> absolutely not and I was like no 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 it's fine and they were so adamant we ended up going and sitting there anyway and I had a chicken leg which is great and I had my glass of water and then I was raring to go <laughs> yeah we didn't sit there for long because we only really went there at the very end of when they'd finished eating so we just like having nibble so yeah that was an experience and all. <laughs> I just felt like a major intruder like it was so bad props to that couple because I feel like I would have been so mad if someone came to sit at my head table at my wedding. So the fact that they were like okay with that is very sweet. But anyways, today we've got a lot on the agenda. I'm actually going to be filming an ad for Sunny. Can I, can we just talk about this for a minute? Because Sunny will not get in any of my content. And he is so anti like being on camera. Until there's a paycheck involved and then... He doesn't mind so much. So what I've learned is I need to start paying him to be in my content. So what you guys need to do is watch all of my ads. If you're on YouTube, watch the ads to the end. Let us get that ad set so then I can tell him we're getting paid and then it will encourage him to come back on. And if you see any ads on my other platforms, make sure you watch them and engage with them because that is the only way I've figured that I'm gonna get him on camera. He needs to be paid. The boy is financially savvy, I'll give him that. We had three bookings this week, how crazy is that? Alhamdulillah, I'm so grateful. And we've got two bookings next week as well, so I'm gonna be preparing for that as well. Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed a little insight into a week at work with me, my first week at work. Um, I hope it was exciting to, for you to see as much as it was for me to do it. Don't get me wrong, it's been a tiring week. It's been quite grueling at times, quite a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be, but when you're standing up for six hours straight, yeah, you're going to get tired. <laughs> Didn't really think that one through. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Let me know if you did in the comments. Um, pray for my breakouts and that they disappear in good time because we literally have an ad to film today and I just clocked that um the skin isn't doing too well and I don't know why but it's post period like the skin should be having a glow up not a glow down but anyways I will catch you guys in the next video bye Mwah.